vertical and horizontal equations. We have seen equations in kindergarten and first grade like this, horizontal equations. Five plus two and an equal sign and then a blank. When we're starting into second grade and towards the end of first grade, we would have gone into more vertical equations. Up and down versus in a line that goes sideways. Vertical equations. Five plus two with a line underneath it. This line is like an equal sign. Five plus two equals, and we write the answer underneath. I think in my brain five. I hold five in my brain and I'm gonna count on two. Five, six, seven, counting on. I know the answer is seven. For vertical, equations, we put the answer under the line. In horizontal equations, five plus two, this one I'm going to do with a picture. One, two, three, four, five dots, and one, two more. Now I count them all together. It's one of our strategies. I'm going to circle them as I count them just to make sure I don't miss any dots and don't count them twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five plus two equals, and we put the answer on the line, seven. Horizontal equations, vertical equations. The answer goes at the bottom. Let's try another one. We're going to use bigger numbers for our next one. First, we're going to do the horizontal equation because we're really used to that. 10 plus 10 equals blank. We're really used to that way. But if we do it the vertical way, 10 plus 10 equals with a line. Our answer is going to go below the line. Let's come in with some strategies. 10 plus 10. I remember in kindergarten we learned counting by tens. 10, and then if we count on one more 10, like when we have those sticks of 10, let's pretend this is a stick of 10 cubes and another stick of 10 cubes. 10, remember when we used our hundreds chart? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We do that same thing with adding tens. 10, 20. We put the answer in the blank. We're really familiar with horizontal equations. Now when we do our vertical, we can use another strategy. It's going down like this. In the ones column, there's two zeros. So if we add two zeros, it's going to be a zero. One 10 and another 10 in the tens column. This is the ones column. This is the tens column. If you need practice with place value, look at my previous lesson on place value. This is the tens column because we're counting groups of 10. One 10 plus one 10 equals two tens. Do you see we got the same answer, 20 and 20. Horizontal equation, vertical equation. You write the answer under the line. Try some at home on a scratch piece of paper.